You know what they say, the more ladies, the more rejection. Hey, what's up my peoples, MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fan's hobby, Athena. So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front there we have Athena, on the bottom we have Athena, on the top we have whoop, Athena, on the side, Athena, on the other side, Athena, on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a little battle scene here with all the fans' hobbies, other figures, collect them all, and all their contact information, warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you, and that's basically it for the packaging, also included is a collector's card, with another image there, of Athena, and on the back you have alt mode, and you have tech specs, if that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Athena, and this is Fans Hobby's take on Minerva from Master Force, I believe. Now, granted, full disclosure, I have not seen Master Force, so I know nothing about this character, but uh, she looked cool, so I got her. So, hey. That's, <laughs> that's all I needed. That's all I needed to pick this figure up. She looked cool, so I bought it. Uh, but yeah, here she is in her vehicle mode. But you know what? We'll talk about this in a little bit. First, let's just talk about our little headmaster here. Getting close here, so we can take a look uh, to the details. You can see the visor painted and the body just done in red and white. Some black boots going on there. And off the back, you got the uh, <laughs> upside down face just hanging out there. And articulation wise, the head can rotate. It's on a ball joint, so you have a little bit of wiggly waggly. Arms are on a ball joint, so they can rotate, move in and out. You have almost 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Uh, you do have an ab crunch due to transformation. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward. You don't get too much movements. Knees can bend fully due to transformation. And that's pretty much it's there, and for comparison, here it is with Fantabi's uh, Power Master Prime. Power Master, as you can see how those scale. And here it is with a Titan Master. There you have that. So we're gonna put her off to the side for now, and now let's bring in the vehicle here so we can see how this works. And we're getting close here again so you can see the details. The headlights are done in transparent plastic with some silver painted behind it. Makes it pop. You got some red, you got some gunmetal gray up front as well. These red crosses are stickers. You do get a sticker sheet with this figure, and they also give you some uh, some backups, which are very nice. I appreciate that. You also get uh, some license plate stickers, but I did not put those on because I didn't really care for them, but you get license plate stickers if you want to use them. But you do get some stickers with this figure, which I have no problem with. I don't care about stickers, but, you know, to each their own, as always. I love the transclear and blue they use on this figure. It just really pops. I love that. Got the light bar up top, down in transclear and red. You got these side view mirrors. There's painted silver. And these are on a hinge, so you can kind of angle these how you want. They can also rotate for transformation, but hey, do what you want there. The rims picked out in silver. Some nice red along the back. Get some transparent red for the taillights. Some red back there. And yeah, there is the top. There is the bottom. Uh, you do have rubber tires on this. She does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here she is with Masterpiece Side Swipe. So you can see how that works out. And here she is with Fans Hobby's Power Master Prime, the cap section anyway. Just so you can see how that works out. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, she does have weapons, but they are stored in the vehicle mode, and I'll show those off in a little bit. Uh, but let's bring in headmaster and we'll show how it incorporates into the vehicle mode you can open this up like so you can see the inside there of the car again you got some stickers in there sticker right there you can remove 
This whole roof section. So yes, she does parts form. What parts form it? Shh. 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 This is not going anywhere. Get over it. But we're gonna put that off to the side. But you can see we have this is the uh, little forehead piece for the headmaster, and that just stores right in these two ports right there. And you can see the guns are just folded up back here and they slide into little slots on either side there. So you have storage for everything. And what you do with the headmaster here is you can sit her in the car. Now this is the only part of this figure that's kind of a pain in the butt to do is actually getting her seated in the car. Um, so basically you want, you want her to have her knees up like this you don't want her legs straight you want her knees up like that and what you need to do here is you need to just kind of push this section down you need to hold this you need to hold this section up and push this black section down and you're going to push a lot of this down you'll see it just kind of you'll see this bottom piece just kind of like drop down and basically you're just trying to open up this area as much as you can. What makes it difficult is this this little section right here. This is for the waist articulation, but this totally gets in the way of getting the headmaster in the car. Um, so it ends up being kind of a detriment. But once you get that down, you can kind of just wiggle her in there and hopefully, hopefully... Oop! Hey! I actually did this on the first try! Yay! One of the rare times things actually work for me on camera. There we go. Hey, we got her in. There you go. Then you just bring that down like so. And then you just drop the uh, roof back on and clip everything back in. There you go. You close that up like that. And you do need to push this basically her crotch and her chest you have to kind of push that back up because otherwise it'll drag so that gives you your clearance and there you go she can now go back to rolling and she's in there driving the car so there you go that's the easiest time i've had doing that <laughs> oh, i'm sorry i'm happy when that happens it's rare because usually things fight me on camera but there you go there you have the whole package right there but yeah that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> you can't get a good spin out of her. Rubber tires, rubber tires. All right, so what we need to do is we need to open this up and remove this, put that off to the side. We need to we can fold this back. Like so we can get her out of the car. We need to push this down so we can get her out. Put her off to the side. We need to also remove the little forehead piece here. Put that off to the side. Um, and now we can commence with the transformation. So, first thing we're gonna do is just come back here and we can just split this. And then we can come to the doors. You want to untab the back of the door and then untab the front of the door. And that will just drop down and get that out of the way and untab and untab and get that out of the way like so and we're gonna do a little little twist and trick here so you want to untab these two panels and what you're gonna do here is you're going to rotate this around because you have to get around this post here so you're going to rotate it bring it up and then rotate again and it ends up where it's supposed to be so you want to rotate the panel, bring it up, and then rotate again, and they'll tap together, and there you go. That just completes her back there. Then you can take these panels here, and these will just fold in, like so, and there you go. So now we can work on the legs. So you want to just split the front of the car, like so. You want to open up this section here. Come on. Just open that up. Boop. Like that. And you want to take this section here, this red section, and pull this up. And make sure you bring this leg as far out as it will go so you can swing all of this down. You want to open up this section here so the knee has room to come up. Like that. 
and then you just bring this red section down and then we can swing all this around and close it up like so and then what we do with the door here is we fold down the wind the wind the, 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 so my tongue stops working we fold down the window and then fold up this black panel here and then this whole door is on a slider so you just slide this all the way over bring this up and there's a tab that will go into that slot right there this doesn't hold in super securely unfortunately and i feel like this black panel is the reason why this doesn't tab in as well as it should because it seems like this black panel pretty much kind of gets in the way of it but if you give it and give it a good push it it holds in well enough but it's not too hard to knock it out of place uh -oh. It is what it is. But you take the uh, side view mirror here and you just fold it in and rotate it around. That just sits there. And then you just bring what will be your toes. Just bring that over, up, fold this up and over. And there you have a leg all done. Second fast, guess what? Is just like the fast. So just open this up, bring it out, and unfold. Open this up so you can get the whole knee up. Bring that down. Sewing this around like that. And then just fold that in, fold that in, slide that over, and bring that around. And again, that will tab in right there. This side holds a little bit better, actually. This side, this side holds a little bit more solidly. And again, swing that side view mirror in, rotate around, and then we put over, up, toesies, and there you have the lower body all done, and now we move on to the upper body, and there's not too much to do here, you just want to bring these sections out, oh we need to uh, remove our guns, forgot to do that, so remove our guns, you can see this section just goes into a little slot right in there. So remove our guns, put those off to the side as well. So anyway, continuing on, just bring that back, hold this little panel in, just bring our arm up, and you can just rotate all of this down like so. Rotate the bicep, rotate the wrist so everything is oriented properly. And what you're going to do with this Hinge here is you're just going to rotate it around like that, bring it up, and then this will come out to the side and sit like that. So that is how you are wanting that to look back there. So again, second verse, just like the first. Just bring that down, bring that up, round, over, rotates, rotates, and just rotate that around. Bring that up, bring that there, and there you have the armular region all done. So now all that's left to do is to bring in this section here. So the windshield is going to fold down, the spoiler is going to come up, this section here is going to rotate around, and this will just clip onto our back. You gotta you can pretty much angle that how you want, but I bring it up like that. And there we go. And now she is just missing a head. If she only had a brain. So, you just hold her at the waist. Collapse her legs. Whoops. Popped off the ball joint. There we go. Just little ball joints. And just collapse those legs all the way up. Straighten out the arms there. They just bring in the uh, little forehead piece and that just slides right on. Like so. And you yeah, just bring it on. Clip it in. And there you go. There you have Athena in her robot mode. And she looks good, as far as I'm concerned anyway. I quite like the design, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. See, got some nice metallic paint there for the crest, for her eyes as well. 
do some nice silver there for abs. All around, I think it looks pretty good. Get some little details here on the inside of the legs that are picked out in silver. A little toesies. And move up the back. Not too bad. I mean, the backpack is not the most elegant thing, but the best part is if you don't like it, you can just pop it right off. And there you go. You have a much cleaner looking robot mode. So, hey, you have the option there. You can have it on, not have it on, do whatever you want. So there you go. Now articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. So you got a little bit of wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. She can look up, she can look down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. You can move these out of the way. You can move in and out at the transformation joint. We have outward movement right there as well. Yeah, bicep rotation. Of course, these pieces you can kind of have, you know, sitting pretty much however you want. There's a bunch of hinges there you can work with. You have a double jointed elbow. Full range of movement there. Uh, the wrists can rotate. You also have this joint here that allows the hand to move upward for reasons. Uh, the hands are articulated. The thumb is on a joint. This moves forward and back. And... The fingers are just on a joint at the base and a joint midway, but they're all one solid piece there. Um, as far as the waist goes, you have forward back, side to side, rotation, so you have basically all the wiggly waggly you need. Legs can move forward that far, back, that far, outward, that far. You have thigh rotation. You seem to clip it a little bit better. Yeah, thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee. But due to everything behind your legs, you still only get about 90 degrees worth of bend, really. And as far as the feet, uh, they can't move up, but they can move down. And you have tiltage at the toe. And you get a little bit of tiltage in the whole foot there, but not a lot. Because again, there's kind of a lot going on there. So, there you have that. Now, one thing to talk about is the Headmaster connection itself, because out of the box, it is really tight, like scary tight. Um, so there is a little bit of a modification that you might have to do. Um, so basically, what's happening here is this panel is, is spring-loaded, this little black panel here. You can see it's it's a little spring-loaded panel here, and if you can see, there are like two little tabs that stick out from the side, and that's pretty much what locks the headmaster into place. What I ended up doing was just taking my knife and just shaving just the slightest bit of plastic off of those tabs and just making them a little bit shorter. And now the headmaster, you know, still secure in place, but now not too much effort to pull it out. So. If you get this figure and that headmaster connection is way too tight, yeah, just, just shave down those little tabs on the sides there. Not too much, because if you shave them off too much, then the headmaster will not lock into place. But just enough that you can get the headmaster in and pop it out without too much effort. So, just a... Uh, a word of warning there, a word of caution about that connection there. Um, she does have... The uh, split strength meter, if you open up the chest, there you go, opens it up, gives you her levels there. You can see some little stickers on the sides. And the headmaster doesn't doesn't activate that. It's the chest panels you can see as you open that. It's the actual chest panel that activates that. But you can see her stats there, which is pretty cool. So you got that going on. And of course we can give her her weapons, you can store them on her hips here. You can see our little tabs and just little uh, little slots here on the guns. You just leave them folded up and they just tab onto her hips right there. So you can have them stored if you want. Hey, storage if you want storage. Or you know, just unfold them and you get out the handle, which is not easy to do. And this is why I haven't clipped my nails yet because I need them for these. Because <laughs> that's really hard. To get out, you need to get a nail on them just so you can kind of flip them down. And even with my nails, I still can't get them down. There we go. 
Yeah, you flip those down. There you go. She's got her little little blasters there. Just white, a little bit of silver. And it is the typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. And they hold nice and secure. She doesn't drop them. And you can plug them into either hand. Like so. Now these actually may be, I haven't tested this yet. They might be blue compatible. I don't know. I don't know. If she can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, they might be blue compatible. Let me get my blue shiz. I got my blue shiz. Okay, let me see. This might work. This might. Nope. 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 I thought maybe because there is a little like post there. Nope. Nope. Don't work. E don't work. I thought maybe. Nope. Oh. Not nah, blues compatible. Oh well. <laughs> it's fine. Not the end of the world. But there you have that. And you get one more accessory, and that is an optional face sculpt. So the one that's on her right now is just the, you know, just serious face. But if you want, whoops, you can see face just <laughs> comes right off. And you can just pop this one on. Like so. And Slide that on, and now she's smiling, she's happy, yay! Hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that! And now for comparison! Here she is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. With a P44 Prime. And with fans hobbies, big ol' Power Master Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So there you have Athena, and yeah, I like her. Um, you know, the vehicle mode looks good, the robot mode looks good. Um, if you don't like the backpack, you can always just take it right off. Um, uh, I, I do wish those back leg panels held on a bit more securely. They hold on good enough, but I just wish it was a much more solid connection back there. Um, the Headmaster, that connection is too solid. It's it's just, it's scary tight, but luckily um, that is easily remedied, so you can fix that and make it work a lot better. Um, the transformation, you know, it works, it's smooth, it's fluid, it's enjoyable, so she is fun to mess with. Um, my one like nitpick is just, I think her hands are too big. <laughs> And that's just a nitpick, but I just feel her hands are a little too big, but all in all, though, I am pretty pleased with this figure, so there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Fans Hobby's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the fans hobby Athena. And this is Mgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Home in your face! Yes, I know I'm bigger than the set, okay? But we just have to work with it. But, you know, it wouldn't kill you to rise up to my level. I asked for that!